what's going on wood junkies just out here in the wood lot um just changing out my um oil engine oil on my uh, honda engine and uh changing over the air filter spark plug um just changing things out i have a, a hydraulic filter coming here in the next few days i'm gonna change that out so you know once when you get a new piece of equipment you know i'd like to make everything fresh and new um so as you can see with this it's pretty much drained out and that oil looked pretty uh pretty dingy so um yeah these honda engines just have the you know the dipstick the where you fill the fill tube right there right here and then here's where there's the nut where you drain it all out so i did let it run for about five minutes beforehand to get it warmed up and uh with these bigger commercial machines i just took a <clears throat> a floor jack and just jack the one side up that we can let it drain into uh whatever you know if you do it on a flat surface you're not going to get all the oil out or as much as you want so i brought the three ton jack and just jacked it up and that seems to be doing the trick so like i said i think most of it's most of it's out of there so we'll put this bolt back in and it's pretty close to the to the base there so it wasn't on real tight i couldn't get i had some impact sockets i could not get one underneath there so luckily i brought some of these little pliers just to get tight enough i think there's a, a crush washer in there so like i said i think these honda engines i think they have a shut off a little oil shut off so and then in there to get to the air filter you just take that off lift that up and as you can see i i got a new one put in there most of the stuff I just get off Amazon. It's on, back on tight. But yeah, I fiddled with these detents a little bit and try to open it up to one side a little bit more and see how that does. And uh, I did get one of these little oil fillers with the flexible hose on it so we'll see if that even fits in the hole that looks pretty pretty wide so i brought a smaller one just in case so yeah we'll let this one down and let the jack down and then we'll start filling this thing up with the oil That's out of the way. We'll uh, we'll fill fill this thing with some oil here. And I have some AMS oil down in the basement from I don't know when I bought this stuff, but hasn't been used, so I'm gonna put it in this. Some AMS oil, 10W30. See if this, yeah, that seems to fit, kinda, kinda, sorta. I have to hold it here, but so down the hatch. 
here's what I like to do. I didn't do that. I like to shake these up. So I forgot. I almost forgot. Yeah, I always like to shake my oil up. That way, if anything settles to the bottom, you kind of get it mixed in. Any additives they put in this oil, it's been sitting on a shelf for a while. So just shake it up a little bit. Get that stuff mixed in. Some of that stuff you just don't know. Some people see a little bit of a sludge at the bottom, and then that's pretty much some of the additives they put in this oil. So, I think this is a quart. I don't really know how much this engine holds, how much oil this engine holds. Just fill it till it's full. I think it holds more than a quart. So, I brought some Penn's oil. Uh, Some Pennzoil Platinum to top it off if I need be. I don't care about mixing oil, it'll be fine. Anything's better than what came out of there. Out there. Or this funnel has a, uh, it's got the little mesh screen down there for any, so no particles or particulates get into your, into your system. I bought that on Amazon. I don't know how much that was, about nine bucks or something like that. out of oil here I'll have to see if I have some rags in the truck Let's see what I got mm. Let's see if I can find rags real quick. So, get some Pennzoil Platinum, NW30. Top it off with that. Don't care about mixing this stuff. It'll be all right. It's mostly that AMS oil in there, so. I think it's a quart and a half these 11 horse engines take, but I don't remember right off the bat. start coming out of this thing it looked like really that much oil came out of it so I don't know that almost looks like it's full yeah it looks like it's coming out it might be good to go there yeah so you can see it's dripping out so I think that's that's more than enough there just wipe all this stuff off Get dirt out of there. Just wipe all this stuff off. Not gonna hurt too much. It pretty much just keep the rust from I'm setting in everywhere. So just smear that in everywhere. I don't really care. <laughs> it up a little bit and should be it yeah. so yeah pretty simple really just uh take care of your engine you know so yeah that's all uh should be ready to go should be ready to split so you know that's how you change oil and um do pretty much a tune up on your on your uh on your engine that's honda engine i think predators are pretty much the same thing they're clones to honda so uh same thing for the bigger engines you got your filter in there and then the oil drains out all the same way and then you got your spark plug in there so yeah change that out and then hopefully next week when my uh filter comes we'll change out that hydraulic filter i really think this thing's low on hydraulic fluid because that thing sounds like it's almost empty so i might have to go get some oil and dump that in there if you're low on oil then that's a big problem so i should have took care of that a long time ago but like i said just one thing at a time 
So yeah, next weekend I'll uh, buy probably four, maybe four or six gallons of it and just add some, see where we're at. So, well, that's the video for today. Gonna get some splitting done, some cleanup done, so. If you guys like these videos, like, subscribe, and uh, comment down below. You guys have a blessed day. Take care.